And Bitcoin futures. Bitcoin futures have been attempting to consolidate. There's the two previous breakdowns. There was an attempt to consolidate in here, which failed. And the market's attempting again to consolidate. And it looks much more successful this time. Spread this week was very narrow. Generally, when spreads or range like this contracts considerably, there's an expansion in range in response. You can see volume was very low. The previous week, there was buying support in the bottom of this bar, and then price popped up to close higher. This looks like good, strong buying of what supply was being drawn out without the market attempting to push price higher. This was buying what supply was being drawn out pretty much naturally in the market, some form of accumulation. And this week was more or less a test for supply with a very narrow spread on very low volume, which is just illustrating that selling pressure was very low in the market, at least at this level this week. This market also looks poised to move higher when spreads contract like this, it can move in either direction as an expansion, but this market just on the recent price action looks like it may attempt to move higher. So we'll just have to see. I expect that there will be some resistance at this level. There will be a lot of people, I would expect, that didn't sell when price broke down below 30000 They're still holding in here and may be inclined to sell for break even after being considerably down on their luck when price was trading down here around the 20,000. So expect some resistance around 30,000 if price does attempt to move higher and that may cause price to bump around for a little bit before price actually does move significantly in one direction or the other.